There are a lot of AI tools out there to generate an image based on a text-to-image prompt. Midjourney is one of the most popular for creating realistic portrait images. Today, we are going to look at an exciting alternative option by Imagined. This software has a simple user interface that will have you create realistic images and photorealistic portraits in seconds. They offer a free plan which gives you 10 free generations every 10 hours. If you need more than that, there are very affordable weekly and monthly plans. Let's dive into some of the features and how to get started with using the software. From the home page, click on the Generate Art button. On the Generate Art page, we can select the aspect ratio that we want the image to be created in. We can also select the art style. There is a large range of options to choose from that provide a great deal of flexibility in the generated style of the image. To generate an image, we simply write out or copy our prompt into the prompt text box. In this example, we have crafted a prompt that will hopefully give us back a portrait image of what ChatGPT envisions itself as a middle-aged American male. Before we generate the image, we can toggle the output resolution of the image to high resolution. Once we have our setup settings set, we hit the generate button to kick off the process of generating the image. The Imagine AI software does a good job of generating a photorealistic portrait image based on our prompt. We can hit the generate button again to have a new image generated based on the same prompt. This will give us a side-by-side -side comparison of the two images that we have generated. Let's change the art style to the V4.1 model and regenerate the image based on the same prompt. Now, we change it to V4 creative model. We can see the subtle differences when using the different models. Let's regenerate the image using the image V4 model. The software allows you to use to provide a negative prompt, which will provide details on what not to include in the generated image. There is also the CFG slider scale which adjusts how much the image will be like the provided prompt. The higher the value gives the AI less room to be creative. The step scale adjusts how many steps are used to generate the image. The more steps the higher the output quality but at the cost of more time to generate. Let's take a look at the impact of both the CFG value and the step scale value on the image generated. Simply clicking on the download button will download the image as a JPG file. We can find the images we have generated in the collections menu. If you prefer dark mode, that can also be toggled on and off. The text to image feature found at imagine.art is a great tool to generate realistic portrait images and we highly recommend you check it out. Like this video and subscribe to the Skills AI Level Up channel to see more videos like this one to level up your AI skills.